Hey everybody, Thomas Reese from Digibytes.me here and today we're building an iron tank that we can pump the lava from the nether and fill up the tank for more resources. So what you're going to need here is a 5x5 area with uh, you need 61 iron tank blocks but the I ended up crafting a little bit more than I need. So you put them along the sides here and you just build the frame up. So one, two, three, four. And then you have five. Uh, I need to raise the ceiling, I guess, in order for me to fit up there. We're going to raise the roof. Come on, let's get up there. Raise the roof. I said raise it. I don't know. Click. There we go. And then we just move it around here. And I'm putting it next to my induction furnace, which I mean my industrial blast furnace. So I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Because if the, the, if the blast furnace blows up, then... This iron tank is gone too. Come on. And I don't know where you guys are right now, but God, God damn, it's it's really hot. I am sweating like crazy in my room right now. And uh, by the time this video goes up, I think the the new Xbox is going to be announced. So, are you guys excited for that? I know I will be. Uh, let's place that. That. And we'll leave one in the center for an iron tank valve. And you need two of these. Uh, okay, so, yep, that should be about right. And... Now we'll fill in the sides with the glass. If you guys are wondering what kind of uh, texture pack I'm using, I'm using Sortex. I think that's how you pronounce it. Can't remember. And then we'll fill in these sides here. And we'll place another valve here. And then fill this in with glass. I call it, I call it like iron glass, but it's like a gauge. Okay, so that's all done. Uh, up there, I'll have to place another uh, place a liquid tesseract, but I'll do that later. Uh, I think I'm done for now. So now we'll go over to the Nether. So I don't need this anymore. Don't need that anymore. Don't need this anymore. I need the chunk loader. I need tesseract, pump, waterproof pipe, and some engines to run the pump. So away we go. All right, now we're in the nether, and this is not a good place to set up a pump because there's this gas here and right next to spawn so that's not good uh, I'm half tempted to go kill it I don't know I just don't want to lose all the stuff I have on me because it took me a while to get it let's eat some corn stay away okay uh, let's get out of here Actually, I know a good uh, location to set up this pump. Okay, that looks dangerous. 
I think I'm going to set it up down there. I don't hear any gas, so that's always a good sign. I don't know. I'm I'm really <laughs> I'm really fucking terrified. Uh okay, I think I'm going to pick this like I wish I brought something to build with. I've got cobble and I got cobble. So I should be good. I don't hear any gas. I don't see anything on the mini map, so I should be good. I hear one though. I don't like that. I don't even know if I should be building it this high up. I think I, think I should be on the ground. <sighs> I really don't want to do it. All right, you know what? Ooh, I'm over here. <laughs> This is like a better place to set it up. I don't care if I'm building over some of it. It don't matter. Alright, I'm gonna put it here. <laughs> Screw this, I'm fucking terrified. Uh, where's my pick? No, not the laser gun. The pick, okay. So it doesn't look like this one's too deep. Which I, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know. I don't I don't know the nature of uh of pumps and how they work. Actually I need to put these down. So that I can attach the engines to it. Oh, I'm really <laughs> I'm really scared right now. Uh okay, so we put the test rack down. Let me put the engines down. One there. One there. And one there. And turn it on. I'll place the chunk loader down. So it always loads this area. Uh, set down the radius to one chunk, and you can show lasers to see um, how far the chunk's loading. That's weird. Maybe I'll set it to two. Yeah, okay, I'll do two. Cause then that'll that'll load up a lot of the lava. Now for this, uh, you need to set this as the same tesseract that we're gonna put in the other world. So I'm gonna do one and just lava save it alright uh, I think I'm done for this <laughs> I am really terrified there's a there's a bat somewhere over there and I just feel like he's gonna knock me into the into the lava so I'm gonna I am going to book it out of here and get back to where I live Alright, so my portal is still intact, thankfully. And I just want to get out of here. Get me out of here, please. There's like five fire bats around me. Oh! <gasps> no! They made it over here. They came through the portal as well. I don't know. It's gonna kill me. Okay, I got him. Whew. That was close. <laughs> that fire bat was, was wrecking me. So, now we're gonna go downstairs, put the... Liquid tes Tesseract on top of the valve up here, which means more digging. And I'm going to make this place look nice. I'm going to re replace all this stuff with, uh, with some uh, basalt brick or whatever. Man, it is hot in my room. It's ridiculous. I'm going to check what the weather says right now. Jesus, 27 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is Fahrenheit, but that's really hot. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you can see into the iron tank. But let's put this as one. 
or just click on that. Click set frequency. Now it should be dropping lava into the tank. There we go. See? Now it's not going to fill up as fast as, um, say, if you use like golden waterproof pipes or any other type, but cobble does the trick for me for what I need right now. And if I need to change that, I'll just go back into the nether. Alright. Oh, well, that's it. Just make sure your test racks on the same frequency. And you have the right material to build the, the iron tank. And that's been Thomas Race from DigiBytes.me. And I'll see you next week. Bye.